Hi, Kazim here. Welcome to Tech Talk Shorts, where I talk about Azure topics under 180 seconds. So today we're going to be taking a look at Azure Snapshots and how to set it up. So if you're new to Azure Snapshots, Azure Snapshots is a copy of your VHD, your virtual disk, as at the time the snapshot was taken. So you probably might be wondering, why do we need to take snapshots, right? Or why do we need to take VM snapshot? So you can use snapshot as a backup strategy for your VM. And let's say you're trying to carry out some kind of test on your VM, then it's best that you take a snapshot of the VM first. So you're just able to recover in case anything goes wrong. So if Azure Snapshot is something that you're new to, I think the best way to understand this is for me to show you how it's done from the portal. So let's check it out. All right, so this is my Azure portal now. So I'm going to go to my VM. As you can see, I have the number of VMs here. So the plan is to take a snapshot of client one. So I'm going to click on client one. Keep in mind that if the plan is for you to take a snapshot uh, to create a new VM, then it is recommended that you shut down the VM first or you deallocate the VM first before you take the snapshot. So I have my VM here. So I'm going to uh, click on disk under the settings area of the virtual machine. So as you can see here, I only have one disk attached to this particular VM. So it's possible to take a snapshot of uh, multiple disks if you have a, an operating system disk and also a data disk. So you can take a snapshot of uh, all the available disks that you have. So I'm gonna take a snapshot of this one operating system disk that I have. So I'll click on the disk and then click on create snapshot. Choose your subscription, choose your resource group, and then you need to give the snapshot a name. So in this case, I'm going to give you the name client 01 snapshot. So I'll stay with the full option and click on review and create. So there you have it. And if you're trying to look for the available snapshot that you've created, so you can come under the search here and type snapshots. From here, you're able to see all the available snapshot that you've created. So there you have it. So it only takes a few minutes to create a snapshot up on the Azure portal. So if there's any topic that you would like me to cover under 180 seconds, please let me know in the comment section down below. So thank you very much for taking the time and I'll see you in the next one.